Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are diving into one of my favorite Ghanaian dishes, egg stew infused with Kobe. Kobe is salted dried tilapia and when you pair it to any stew, it gives you that rich flavor to your stew. And it's simply divine. So let's jump right in. We'll start off to heat up some oil into my pan then add in some cumin and rosemary just to give it additional flavor once the oil is hot enough we'll go ahead to add in some sliced onion and gently stir and at this point we'll go ahead to add in my kobe and fry it until it turns golden brown on both sides this gives the fish crispy texture and also give the stew a delicious flavor. Kobe is quite salty, okay? So what you're going to do first is to rinse it very well and soak it in water for about 15 to 20 minutes. This will help you remove some of the extra salt. Once the Kobe is nicely fried, we'll remove it from the oil and set it aside. We'll go in with my chopped tomatoes. Also to give the stew a deep flavor, we'll add in about a tablespoon of tomato paste, okay? That is totally optional, okay? You don't have to add it to it. We'll give it a gentle stir and allow it to cook down for a few minutes. So guys, eight to 10 minutes later, I'm going to go ahead to stir it again, just to make sure I don't burn the stew, okay? And egg sauce is really simple, which doesn't take long to cook. So once the tomatoes are soft, that means the stew is ready, okay? So we'll go ahead to add in back the fried Kobe, okay? And give it a gentle stir. And oh, if you don't like Kobe, you can totally omit it, okay? That was what I was craving for and that is what I have available. At this point I'm going to go ahead to season a stew with a seasoned cube. Then give it a gentle stir. Now it's time to add in the eggs, okay? I'm using six eggs total, okay? So once our eggs goes in, I'm going to go ahead to leave it. Because I'm going for that chunky of both the egg whites and the yolk, okay? But you can feel free to stay it right away, okay? I'm going to let the eggs cook through, but also making sure I don't overcook them too. And we would like to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to my returning and new subscribers. I just want to say thank you so much for your love and support. God bless you. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I share delicious and simple recipes that you are going to love. So kindly click on the like button and subscribe to join this beautiful family. So we'll be pairing this stew with some boiled yam, okay? So while our stew is almost done, we'll go ahead to peel the yam, then slice it. And once I'm done, we'll wash it thoroughly, then transfer it into my boiling water which I've already added salt. We'll then go ahead to cover it and allow it to boil. And now look how beautiful our stew is. The color, the aroma, they are all on point. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead to give it a quick stir and since I love a bit of crunchiness, I'll go in with some chopped onion and give it a stir. To that, we'll add in some salt to taste and also add in some pepper for extra heat. Then add in some green bell peppers to garnish the stew. 
all right so once everything goes in i'm going to go ahead to stir everything together then our stew is ready this stew goes perfectly with boiled yam plantains or rice today i'm serving mine with some boiled yam and just like that our egg stew is ready i'm just going to go ahead to skim out some of the excess oil that we don't need and that's about it guys thank you all so so much for cooking with me today if you enjoyed this recipe please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe until i come your way with another deliciousness please stay blessed and happy bye guys